Quite simply, ladies and gentlemen, where would we be without inspiration? Inspiration spurs us, stimulates us, opens us to new ideas. Who or what inspires you personally? Is it music, traveling, or maybe your children? Our inspiration for great new functions in TIA Portal comes from the IT world. Where software development teams already work in seamless cooperation a long time. The solution is continuous integration, which basically means that you continuously optimize your development process. IT mechanisms are more and more common to use in automation. So continuous integration has real relevance for your daily work. Where do you check your current software versions? Who changed the last software? How do you version your software at all? And how are you able to combine different versions of software? Lots of questions and plenty of answers with TIA Portal V16. So what is continuous integration at all? I want to explain it to you very short. It all starts with seamless cooperation in the automation team. The only way we can manage the enormous complexity of today's software development projects. To ensure transparency in this development process, all changes have to be versioned and commented centrally. And then the cycle of continuous integration starts. So various software elements have to create software modules, and these modules will be tested in a loop. The result of this test will be conveyed to the automation team and will close exactly this loop of software development. This is a TIA Digi demonstrator. I think you already know it. Our expert Tobias Shu, also known as Mr. Automation, supports us today. So, hello Tobias. What is the TIA Digi demonstrator? And why did your team create it? Hello, Stefan. Hello, dear friends of Efficient Automation. Our goal was to show the digitalization topics in a simple way with the help of a compact machine from the real world with different technologies integrated. The mechanics came from a supplier and we took care of the control program as well as the visualization. The digital demonstrator has now been built 11 times and has also been integrated in a digital production line. So this is our digital line again. It's also here at the booth. Everything depends on standardization. But what is it exactly? And why is it so important? Let's ask our expert again. Tobias. What challenges did you face in software development and what are your recommendations for our TIA portal users? Yeah, the machine had to be developed under time pressure with the highest software quality. It was obvious that right from the start we needed a clearly structured machine program to simplify future care and maintenance. Therefore, the program needed to be standardized. This can easily be explained with the conveyor belt. We have modules for the light barriers, for the control of the motor, for the control of the drives, and for the interaction of the components as a conveyor belt itself. Everything is linked via standardized interfaces that exchange data with each other. This helped us to continuously innovate the machine because we only had to exchange individual modules addressing the hardware without making major changes to the whole control program. So standardization is the basis for digitalization and has to be integrated in your company processes very good. It covers all disciplines from mechanics to electrics and also to the automation. 
When it comes to software, it's basically about the modularization of your control program, the compliance of um, defined program specifications, and also the definition of standardized communication between modules and machines. The objective is always to reduce the engineering effort and speed up the development process. The TIA portal supports you here with its comprehensive library concept and the totally new TIA portal test suite. The next step on your way to continuous integration is distributed work. Here, we have a quite nice inspiration from nature. It's a bit like a dragonfly. A pair of wings work separately, but perfectly synchronized together. Tobias, how did you organize the maintenance of your software projects? In the beginning, we saved our projects on our department drive. Each project revision in a separate folder. I know that plenty of our customers do that as well. With a growing number of machine commissionings and projects, the structure became complex and traceability needed to be improved. That's why we set up a project server for our department. The projects are now saved centrally and also archived there. In addition, we have the opportunity to work together in a team on the project and to further innovate the digital demonstrator without losing track of the software changes. Teamwork. It's the very heart of how we work together today. Working well together has one key goal, reducing the coordination effort to a minimum. By using the TIA portal project server and multi-user, each of you is now able to individually or in a team work on centrally, centralized stored TIA portal projects. By this, you're also able to do this in a network, in a distributed working team, as well as use it during the commissioning phase. Traceability of changes. That's exactly what versioning is about. It's some kind of a parachute for every development process, which otherwise would have been in a free fall. To be us. What other software versioning tools did you use? Especially in the earliest stages of software development, it is important to create standardized program blocks and thus build up a library. For the development of libraries, it can be helpful to save your blocks in the source format and store them in external source control systems. VCI, the version control interface in the TA portal, makes it possible to export blocks directly from the TA portal and manage them in a corresponding source control system, such as JIT or Subversion. Thus, standardized mechanisms from IT software development can also be used for library development with TIA portal. With VCI in the TIA portal, and an external source control system, it is possible to follow granular software changes on a central base. By this, you can also compare different software versions with each other, a real boost to transparency of your development process. Remember the bridge in Singapore. It is a building inspired by nature but also has to withstand real stresses if it's built. How do you think how engineers guarantee the stability be before building it in reality? With virtual tests and simulation. Tobias, what other functions have you used during software development to increase the quality? In our software development, so-called unit tests are carried out automatically after changes to the source code. These check whether the function has been implemented correctly. This can be done using Peel System Advanced and the S7 unit test tool. 
which is available as an application example in CIOS. This can also be integrated into automated processes to automatically realize tests when changes are made to the PLC program. And we are already looking forward to using the test suite in TIA portal, which will improve the integration a lot. As Tobias explained, PL System Advanced is in the center of our solution. With it, you can test your software in the network and even in distributed working teams. By the use of Unit Test, which is part of the new TIA Portal test suite, you can even use the TIA Portal surface to define your very own test cases and run them afterwards automatically. There's no better way to integrate function tests into your development process. Tobias, you really improved the software development process. Thank you very much for your insights. You're welcome. The combination of standardization, distributed working, versioning, up to automated testing in an integrated workflow offers us a lot of advantages. This enables us to use continuous integration concept from the IT also in automation. Goodbye, dear friends of automation. Goodbye, Stefan. Goodbye, Tobias. And that's your way to continuous integration. Only if all three components, based on a standardized software architecture, are perfectly integrated in your development, you are able to leverage the full potential of continuous integration. Tia Portal V16 offers really important steps to improve your development process. All you need is willingness to change. It only works with a step-by-step -step approach, and you have to start now. So take your time, let yourself be inspired at our Tia Portal dialogue stations, enjoy the fair, and thanks again to Tobias. If you're interested in more insights and tips by Tobias, then just take a visit on this website. And thank you for your visit here. Have a nice day and bye. Siemens, ingenuity for life.